Credit Suisse opened its first rep office in Brazil almost 25 years ago, and from that position, it bought Garantia in 98, the then largest local investment bank. Why did it choose to commit such large resources to Brazil? Because we are a large country, 200 million people, vibrant economy, lots of companies needing capital, and lots of individuals looking for advice in managing their wealth. That looked like a very attractive market for us to operate in. Credit Suisse is the largest global investment bank in the Brazilian market. We have close to a thousand employees and we operate in the three divisions of the bank, in investment banking, asset management and private banking. In investment banking, we're the leading global investment bank in the Brazilian market. We're leaders in IPOs and equity capital markets. We're leaders, we're the number one stockbroker in, in the market. We're very strong in trading both in equities and in fixed income. And uh, we also have a very strong uh, structured finance operation. In private banking, we're the second largest onshore private banking firm in Brazil with close to 65 billion reais, roughly $30 billion of assets under management. And we have a very strong asset management franchise with leading hedge funds and real estate funds in the Brazilian market. Credit Suisse Brazil is a successful combination between two very successful partnerships, Garantia, that was acquired back in 98, and Hedging Grifo, that we acquired in 2006, with a global successful investment bank, which is Credit Suisse. And this combination of this partnership culture with this global investment bank is really what differentiates us in the market. Everybody here feels and behaves as an owner. And I think that's what differentiates us from our competitors, be them local firms or other global investment banks. We have several uh, success stories that we could talk about. But one that I think combines the, uh, all of the attributes of the Credit Suisse platform is the sale of Amil, a leading healthcare company in Brazil, to United Health back in 2012. That was the largest U.S. investment in Brazil to date, with $5 billion. We advised the owner of the company, which we had worked for before in his IPO and in other deals, we advised him in the sale and captured 95% of the proceeds of the sale to our private banking franchise, really in a remarkable example of cross-sell and one bank activity. Our working culture is based on several pillars. Number one, informality. I don't have an office. I work, I sit with, with everyone. Number two, meritocracy. You, there are no limits to what you can accomplish. If you do well, you'll advance in your career, you'll be compensated. Number three, creativity. We sell brains. We sell solutions to our clients, and we want to differentiate ourselves by doing that. We sell brains that create value for our clients, and we get compensated by a little bit of that value we create for them. And number four, entrepreneurial spirit. Everybody who succeeds here thinks and acts as an owner. So creating this great mentality, this combination of a partnership culture within a global investment bank, which is a very unique aspect of Credit Suisse's Brazil culture. The Brazilian lifestyle and the Swiss banking are a great combination because Brazilians tend to be very flexible, Brazilians tend to be creative, Brazilians tend to innovate, and at the same time the Swiss culture brings precision, tradition, confidence into the picture. And I, th I think this is a great combination of attributes for our clients. Innovation, flexibility, aggressiveness in terms of providing solutions, with, at the same time, precision, tradition, confidence. What more could a client ask for? In 10 years, Credit Suisse will continue to be the leading financial institution in the Brazilian market. 
it will grow a lot, it will cover many more clients throughout Brazil, be them companies or individuals, and at the core of its success, it will be the ability to attract, retain, and motivate the very best talent available in the market.